super. Kies dat. Super. Tea's ready. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. You did some Corbin. I'm Rick. Oh, sorry, I forgot to turn the volume on. Oh well, apologize about That's that. That's our first silent intro. No, we've done that it. long. That's what she said. <laughs> it was a long silence. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I think this is like a uh, little bit of a interviewish, cool style thingy. Okay, it's called Rare Moment with Legends. Amitak Bakchan. Uh, Rajnikant, Ooh. superstar Rajnikant, and uh, Kamal Hassan. And this is about Raja, sir. Oh! So apparently all these guys got cool. together and they're talking about uh, Raja, sir. Um, During the Shamatab music launch in 2015, the celebrations in Mumbai were doubled by honoring Maestro Raja, sir, for his 1,000th movie film composition. It was a rare and memorable moment to watch the three legends of Indian movie industry sharing their experiences about Raja Sir on a podium together. Shamatab was actually the one with Amitabh Bachchan and Danush, I believe. Remember that one? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I remember that one. So this is like uh, them, I am guess, talking about, obviously all of them have, I believe, had experiences with him. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, talking about him. Cool. Uh, but I've never seen it. So. No, and we've said recently how much we want to learn more about him. Yeah. So this is great. And also to see all three of them together. Yeah. Deja vu. Whoa. Twice. Is Rajnikanth bald? Yeah, you didn't know that? So he wears a toupee? Uh, he wears a wig. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. I guess it makes sense. He is 70. Yeah. I didn't know that, though. Hey, it's a good toupee. How old is uh, Raja sir now? This is, he is still a live opportunity for me. Rajni Kamal and myself, perhaps uh, any of you are not aware, uh, we worked together in one film, and that's the first and only time we were together in a film called Giriftar. And here we are on stage. I'm here really to be able to talk to these two great legends about another great legend who is amongst us today and in whose name we pay tribute today, Ilai Rajasar. Rajni, you've uh, worked with uh, Rajasar in many films. Rajasar, okay. What is it? that you find special about him? What about his music? What about his nature? Tell us something about it. So actually, I mean, I know Raja Sir from uh, oh. uh, early 70s. Oh. Raja Sir, yeah, he was uh, <laughs> very naughty. <laughs> really, I'm telling you. And very mischievous. We used to gossip a lot. We used to, I mean, uh, to be frank with you, we had uh, drinks till morning. Russell got this funny. All that. And suddenly one transformation actually took place. I saw Rajasa completely changed, uh, even uh, his dressing and everything. When I saw him, I never felt like uh, calling him Raja sir. I called him Swami. Swami means saint. Mm. Even now, till then, I am calling only Raja Swami, Raja Swami. He's real saint, that Nada Saraswati. 
is there with him and in him. Thank you. Come on. I'd like you to say something about Hiraraja, sir. Uh, Mr. Raja has become a part of my life. Out of this thousand, about 10% belongs to me. <laughs> I say belongs to me. He created it, but it, uh, we own it up so much. So Actually, I, may I just interrupt? Uh, many of you don't know, but uh, I think that uh, between the two of them, Rajni and Kamal, I think you've both done about a hundred films each. Must with Ilya Rajas. A hundred films each. With? Right. With Ilya We're still counting, so we're not <laughs> stopping with that. Most people haven't done a hundred films. Uh, as he said, I was about to say, he stole my story because it's his story too. But uh, I have done all that he claims to have done <laughs> with Mr. Raja. I used to call him Mr. Raja then. After that, after the transformation, he was talking about, he became my brother. I never called him that. And today I had the opportunity of hugging him, which I have never done. He's a bit finicky and a shy man. But today I took the opportunity to hug him. It was long overdue after nearly 35, 40 years. I always wanted to do it to him. And I did it today. And I knew that he would go to this thousand. 786th film was mine and I told him soon thousand and it is that day today. Fantastic. Uh, thousand? Holy! Between the two of you, as I said just now, you've uh, That's a lot taken Rajasar away for almost uh, more than 200 films. Is that, do you think, one of the reasons why Ida Rajasar couldn't come to the Hindi film industry to give us music? Because he was so busy making music for you all. <laughs> He's never done a Hindi film? Actually, I mean, as a Raja sir told, actually, So it's all uh, Tamil Telugu? He, he, he never uh, does, I uh, mean, uh, he, he left everything to God's hand, he's completely surrendered to Almighty. So that it was uh, his mistake, Almighty's mistake. <laughs> he couldn't <laughs> brought him along before. Doing some math. Raji, uh, to connect with that, I just want to say that um, right. there is a certain kind of divinity that's 20 Whenever films a year films. for 50 years. <laughs> something very divine, something godly. That's two films a month. If you've been to his years. music room, if you've been to his house, two weeks for 50 uh, years. I have, and I'm sure that both of you have also. That's a lot. Uh, there is a, a peculiar divine atmosphere. Rajni, you two have been uh, very close to divinity. Are there any similarities that you find between yourself and Rajasar? Holy cow. In that respect. So maybe, I don't know, I mean, uh, after uh, seeing the, all the worldly things, after enjoying it, after seeing that, okay, that, okay, this is it. So we think for, we uh, aspire for the bigger thing, higher thing. Probably that is the case. That is, that is the case. Even the Raja's case also probably. Kamal, you've uh, sung for Raja's. Yes, that's his misfortune. <laughs> <laughs> He's not all the time fortunate. <laughs> and uh, Randy, you've never had an opportunity to sing with him, sir. <laughs> no, no, never. Only once, actually, just four lines. For that, actually, it took eight of us. <laughs> <laughs> um, tell us something about your uh, singing experience with us. See, it's very difficult. He's been a friend, he's been a brother. But the truth is, he's also my guru. In film singing, I thought I knew singing till I met Raja. To sing for the mic, to correct yourself, I learned little, little tricks, which makes me look like I'm a master when I go to other people. I watched about 100 uh, re-recordings, background scoring. Whenever I'm shooting, I used to go to this... Uh, background scoring sessions and that's helping me now as a director because I sound like a music director which I'm not but thanks to Raja. There are some other details of uh, Raja sir which perhaps many in the audience are not aware of. Um, correct me if I'm wrong but I believe for four years continuously 52 weeks 56 films Raja sir has given music for continuously for four years. And that includes background music as well. 
And many of those films have all been great box office successes. How? Uh, this is know. a great achievement. That kind of output I can't uh, comprehend. Uh, Carl, while you were talking about... And that's common. Uh, like, uh, all these like, legends of an incident, all have this like, this massive story. number that I can't comprehend. Oh, what you did with one of your film's music... How do you yeah. have time to do anything? Yes. Would you like to describe that now? I'm glad you brought this up. I've been waiting for nearly 15 years. Because of that man, he said, don't talk about it. That's his good quality. We have the liberty to talk today. Right? No, today, Please. it's my state, our state. <laughs> 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 I had gone to somebody else to do the music. Uh, that's the first time I've used in Raj Kamal Films, my company, another music director. Something went wrong and uh, I had a problem. I had shot all the songs, but I was not able to use it in the film. So sheepishly, I went back to Mr. Raja and said, I made a mistake, so help me out. So he was looking at me and he said, how much did it cost for you to shoot all the songs? Is that what you're going to ask of me? No, tell me. I said, I'm going to reshoot it, so don't trouble me now. And he said, no, you're not going to reshoot it. I'm going to dub it for you. I said, no, I want hit songs. I'll give it to you. And I've never heard of this. It, it, it's a textbook kind of work for any music director. The song was recorded. He saw the lip sync like a dubbing film. He started making music, which was totally different. The song I recorded and shot was different. And he made hit songs of them. It is not only, I've seen people in circus walking on wire and uh, throwing teacups onto their head and balancing. It's th that kind of a balancing act he made a song with fantastic music. Off of what they were doing. I think that many that uh, are not aware of how films are made, uh, I just want to repeat what Kamal has just said. Kamal went to a music director, recorded songs, went to location, shot those songs, and then decided that perhaps um, he was not happy with it. He went to Raja sir and said, this is the music, I want to change it. Raja sir said, don't change anything, I will change what you have shot. So he looked at the edited like taking of the Yeah, turning the sound off and writing something and to match what you see. the lip sync of the artist that had been shot, Raja sir composed and make it a hit song. What song was that? Fresh music. I want to see it. It's several which said. synced with the already shot portion, and never all heard, those music that and everything became super hit. That's an incredible feat. I've never heard of this thing before. Nah, neither have I. No, that and doesn't really happen. All accolades to you. No music director should be like, like oh, yeah, okay, no. It's a lip sync. If you <laughs> went well around my music, music yeah, if you so went to him and said, could you match a song to the visuals, they'd go. Any, Are you nuts? It's a different any song. Any incident, uh, Rajesh, wow. that I know you've described many personal incidents wow. with Rajesh, and maybe it's not wise to repeat them now. But uh, um, <laughs> were there any moments when you felt that when you're sitting in a composition that he has made, that you've disagreed with? Or you felt that maybe you wanted something else? Nice uh, question, Big B. Right question. question. No, I mean, I never interfered actually with uh, Pili Raja uh, music. Why would I never you? actually, that was not my field. Uh, I never entered into it. I, I used to left everything to him. Yeah. Come on, what about you? I, I thought I was interfering, but I was only learning. <laughs> I used to say the silliest things and he would say, tell me what you want and I will give it to you. <laughs> and uh, it's always been that. <laughs> and uh, I learned a lot. And by arguing with him, I learned. So that's that's my only learning technique of saying something knowing fully well that he's right. But I'll say, how about this? And he'll say, why that is not right? And that's how I learned. But right. I had uh, a very small, similar experience with Rajasa. I have uh, never dared to sing in front of him because I found that very embarrassing. And every time a song was composed, I would ask him to send the Pro Tools somewhere else. And Adesh Srivastava, who's here, we used to sit in the studio separately and record it. But there was one occasion in Pa when I had to sing a song with Rajasa in front of me. 
And I cannot tell you how frightening that was because uh, um, you're looking at a genius who stands there and, and catches every little moment and wants to correct it. And even though it was a little kid singing um, uh, with some kind of prosthetics on his face, uh, it was amazing how he corrected each and every little line that I was singing. Thank you so much, Rajesh, sir, for that input. And thank you for giving me this opportunity to have stood in the same room as you and perform in front of you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kamal. And thank you so much, Rajni. That was cool. I'm, I was, you'll never heard of it, probably never hear of it again. Okay. Oh. So there's multiple crazy things that were said in there. The fact that one, he's done a thousand. I don't know if he's still alive. But that's insane. I don't know if, like, John Williams has done a thousand films. I, I can almost guarantee he hasn't. He might have done a thousand songs. How many films has John Williams scored? And I don't, was it a thousand songs or a thousand films? A thousand films. A thousand films. Give me, give me his albums. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't think it's a thousand films. No. Because Hollywood does not produce that amount of content that no, fast. No, Nor do I think most artists want to do no, that many films. No, Usually, like, the, it's, like it's four bad. in a year would it's be a, a lot. big, big mountain to climb. Like, what Akshay does now would be considered oversaturation right. here in right. Hollywood. People, like, his management would be telling him, people, Pull back. people are seeing you too much. Right. Let them, let them want you. Exactly. Like, let them... Like, um, and, and that kind of stuff. So to put out that amount of quantity of stuff, and I'm sure most of it being really high quality stuff, yeah. is insane. insane. And then also, <laughs> to take a song with visuals already shot and make an entirely new song just based off of the visuals is insane. That is, that does not happen. Ever. No, I've never heard of it. Like Big B said, I've never heard of that. I'd happening. like to see it. Yeah. I'd like to see the end result. I would like to see the beginning. I, I don't know if you, that, like, that's ever been released, like the original version. And then what was, because I would like right. to see like how much of a transformation he made. That would be cool. I'd love to react to something and then find out afterwards that was one of those songs. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And have not picked up on the fact that that was one of those songs. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. Wow. Well, the man's impressive. Yeah. So <laughs> understand the respect and the level of adoration. And I'm sorry it took us as long as it has now to yeah, sorry. realize he's at the level, if not above, Amir, uh, Aramon, yeah, Aramon, like in terms of prestige, uh, because the dude's impressive. Uh, and uh, let us know more from him that we should react to uh, down. Da <laughs> <laughs>